boys and girls. Welcome again to Miss Etta's Academic Corner. Tonight or today, we have Judah Sr. and we have Mr. Lion and we have Mr. Puma. There, Mr. Judah Sr. wants to rest himself over here in this chair. Uh, don't go too far, Judah Sr. And Mr. Lion and Mr. Puma are going to stay up here because they want to see the book sometimes too. We're going to read a book today called Jess Up, Don't Mess Up. And the author is April Clompton Finn. Now, this is a soft book, remember? We check to see if it's hard or soft. This is soft, it bends. And what colors do we see? We see uh, purple, green, yellow, brown, different shades of brown, red, pink. Now, we see a boy with a tie on and we see the dog. Now, who is Jessup? Is Jessup the boy or is Jessup the dog? Take a guess. Remember, it's always good to look at the pictures and the title and start to guess what you're gonna start to read. Now, it says Jessup, don't mess up. Well, we know the room looks nice and neat, but that means it's not gonna look that way for long. All day long, mother has been scrubbing and cleaning and straightening her entire house from top to bottom. But now time is running out for the in-laws are due in an hour. So mom is cleaning up because, you know, she's got guests coming. Having bathed and dressed little Jessup in his new crisp white shirt, can she trust him to sit quietly and stay put while she showers, combs her hair, and puts on her clothes and makeup? And if she cannot, what will grandmother have to say when she arrives? Now, boys and girls, how often have your parents told you to sit still and not get your clothes messed up? Maybe because you're on your way to church or you're going to a party or you you know, people coming over. How have you been? Were you able to sit still? Were you able not to mess up? I don't think Jessup was able to do that. But well, let's see. I could be wrong. The book says it's dedication from then until now. This book is dedicated to all who have listened tirelessly, encouraged, and kept the faith with me. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, opinions, criticism, and joys, as well as your belief in my writing abilities. A special note to the ones who made it all possible. Thank you, Mom and Dad. April C. Finch. So the writer, the creator, that's her dedication. By the way, I happen to know her personally. Very nice lady. Jessup, don't mess up. Mother yelled from the bath. She'd been cleaning all morning and was finished at last. She turned on the water and jumped into the shower. She was in quite a hurry for the in-laws were due in an hour. That's mom in the bathroom, trying to take her, her stuff now. Jessup is already cleaned up and ready. She's trying, she cleaned the house, now she's trying to get herself ready. That's what parents will do sometimes. They wait to take care of themselves last. Now, before I read, what is Jessup doing? Jessup is sitting on the sofa, but Jessup got something in his hand. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's read this. I'm not going to mess up, replied Jessup, sitting in his clean white shirt. And at the same time, he said it. The ink pen started to squirt. What I told you. I don't think you should have had that in his hand. The ink pen, ink started coming out of it. Mom says, are you sitting very quietly? Mother called from the sink. I'm being really quiet, he whispered. And down came the ink. Ooh, one spot splattered on his white shirt pocket. Another came down just above his left eye socket. A wipe of the brow with his hand and the ink spot spread. Another wipe to the couch and off his hand it disappeared. Yeah, it came off his hand, but where did it go? It went on the couch. 
Look at that. Mm. Has this happened to some of you? The ink spots are spreading. All right. Jessup, don't you mess up? And is that television off? Mother shouted so loudly through the door. She began to cough. It's off, Jessup answered. He spotted his ball and his bat. That don't sound good. He threw the ball up and made contact. And well, that was that. What did that ball hit? I remember a long, 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 long time ago. My brothers did that. And they put a hole in the wall. They got in trouble. Now Jessup, when he did this, the picture glass shattered. But thankfully, it stayed in his frame. Sliding across the carpet, he yelled safe. Now, that's how you play the game. Because the bedroom door was closed, Mother hadn't heard the noise. So without interruption, Jessup went for more toys. Mom's still in there brushing her teeth, cleaning up, taking care of what she got to do. Doors closed and Jessup is having a field day. Has that ever happened to you? You go from one thing to the next, your parents telling you to sit still, don't mess up your clothes. Now what did Jessup do? He pulled out next, pulled out next were footballs, basketballs, golf balls, and clubs. Why? Then he put on his soccer cleats, with, which had left tiny holes in the rug. Cleats, the shoes with the little things in them. You're not supposed to wear them inside. They're messing up the carpet. And why hit a golf ball with a club when you have a tennis racket. Jessup was having a good old time. Jessup swung back and forth, back and forward, and then he really went at it. The ball bounced from wall to wall, whew, like it was in a pinball machine. It hit every item on every shelf, bing, 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 leaving them bare and clean. It had rolled into his bedroom underneath his bed, but now instead of a tennis pro, he became a spy instead. Also, oh, now we leave in the living room and we going into our room. This is what he did. Silently, he slid his little body beneath the bed. He went in feet first, first keeping lookout. He went the bl with the blanket over his head. He whispered, I must keep very quiet or else the enemy will hear me. When he's not looking, I'll karate chop him. Then he will fear me. This is all just a, he's having a good time. Jessup, I don't hear you, mother called. Are you being a good boy? And make sure you stay nice and clean and don't pull out any toys. Jessup felt the enemy above him lurking on his bed. He sprang from underneath it and leaving his hair standing on his head. Mom is still getting ready. She in the room. She's calling out to Jessup and Jessup is doing his thing. Have you ever done that, boys and girls? Womp, he landed on the mattress, but was now a sumo wrestler. Rolling round and round with the pillows. He made a complete mess in there. I bet he did. Growing bored with this game, he quickly moved to the next, where he stood up on top of the furniture and beat his fist on his chest. Now, how many of us would have gotten in trouble if our parent knew or saw us standing on the good furniture? Well, that's my mother used to say. Of uh, her good furniture. Oh, yeah. Trouble, 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 trouble. He had seen this done on television once, where a man swung from the trees in the air. We can't do everything we see on TV, boys and girls. Jessup knew he did not have a tree. So what did you think he swung on? He jumped from chair to chair. He yelled a yell at the top of his lungs. 
and as though he lost his mind, he went, he even went so far as to use his mother's curtains as a swinging jungle vine. Now he's jumping using the curtains, his mama curtains. What do you think gonna happen? Take a guess, boys and girls. Crash! The rod gave way. And Jessup hit the floor. Jessup, don't you mess up. Mother screamed from behind the bedroom door. Everything had better be neat. Or I'll skin you alive. I want everything clean. Including you. When your father's parents arrive. The father's parents are his grandparents. And they are her mother and father-in-law. Look at Jessup room. Have y'all, has this happened to you? Your parents told you to keep the room clean, neat. They ask you what you're doing. Nothing, mommy. Nothing, daddy. And you in there making a mess. Has that happened to you? I, I see some of you laughing. Yeah, it's happened to you. I'll be out in a minute, she said. I'm almost dressed. I want everything to be perfect for grandmother and for you to look your best. And in a flash, Jessup was up. Sweeping with the broom, every toy he hastily picked up, and he tried to clean his room. That's good he tried to clean his room. But he had a lot to clean, so I don't think he would be able to do it that fast. But let's see. In his toy box, they all went, and he ran to get the ladder, and he put <laughs> knickknacks back in place. Boy, what a clatter. Jessup ran from room to room, cleaning up all he had put down. Then mother came into the room, and her smile turned to a frown. Oh, Jessup, what a mess up. Oh, I should never have left you alone. Now my house is a total wreck, a complete construction zone. But Jessup sat down quietly with a smile. He thought he had done well. But he knew that was not so as tears in his mother's eyes began to dwell well. So mom started to cry and Jessup realized, oh, I didn't do it. such a good cleanup job as I thought. Now from this picture here, this place is still a wreck. He's got the broom in his hand. He's trying to sweep things up, putting things in place. But no, and he still got that ink on his shirt. Then mother, she began to cry. Tears and makeup running down her face. Now mother's getting ready to look a mess. And she continued to look around her house. She cried. <sighs> what a disgrace. Then they both heard it. The keys rattling at the door. The in-laws had finally arrived at a quarter past four. There's nothing they could do. They're here. Father entered the doorway first, where he appeared quite surprised to see his lovely wife's sad face with tears coming from her eyes. Then in an instant he knew it, and the rest he did not need to see. The answer was all over Jessup, who was standing at mother's knee. So as soon as father walked into the house and looked around, he figured out what happened. Grandfather... He was next to come through the door. Unconcerned, he waved hello. He had seen this sort of thing before. He's a grandfather. He's had kids. And last to enter was grandmother, inspecting everything from floor to ceiling. And as more tears fell from mother's eyes, she thought to herself, this must be appealing. But let's see. After a few moments of silence, grandmother hugged her and smiled. It's so nice to see you again, my dear, and meet my precious grandchild. Yes, this is he, mother said with a nervous laugh. Our precious little Jessup. Quite amazing, isn't he, father squirm awkwardly? Boy, he sure can mess up. Then grandmother knelt down to Jessup and, said, and asked him, how do you do? Glancing to his father, then back down to him, she said, 
I'm so pleased to meet you, Jessup number two. So what she's saying is the little Jessup was acting just like his father did when he was a little child. So even though mother wanted everything to be nice and neat, everybody realized sometimes when you have a child, it doesn't always end up that way. What was more important to mom was the relationship, grandma, the relationship, the grandfather, the relationship, was that they got a chance to meet with their grandson and they got a chance to meet with the family. That was more important to them. So sometimes what we think is important, although it is important, is not as important as the relationships we have with people. A little about the author. She was born in upstate New York. April Clapton Finn is an accomplished poet and short story author. The married mother of four beautiful daughters and two zestfully energetic grandsons now resides in Tampa. So she's gone probably through this too with the little kids do what they need to do. She lives in Tampa, Florida, where she enjoys reading, writing, and playing the violin in her spare time. So remember, boys and girls, relationships are important, but it's real important to do the best you can to try to do what your parents asked you to do. And we know sometimes it's hard. Bye. <laughs>